What's up guys, Javi here with Barrelenses.com and we're here today at FunSpot, the world's largest arcade, to test out the brand new Panasonic EVA1. Let's go check it out. Panasonic surprised many when it announced a new system at this year's Cinegear LA, introducing a budget camera that they claim will match the look of their popular Vericam and Vericam LT. It records directly to dual SD card slots and packs tons of features in a small, compact body. The high resolution of its 5.7K Super 35 sensor oversamples the image to give you a sharper 4K image with reduced aliasing. A future firmware upgrade will allow the camera to output the full 5.7K RAW resolution to an external recorder. The dual native ISO that is popular in the Vericam line comes back and performs very well in this unit. The camera exhibits the same level of noise and dynamic range when set to either 800 or 2500 ISO, giving you more options when operating in different lighting scenarios. Here's an example of the camera set to its native 800 ISO versus its native 2500 ISO. The images are practically the same. Additionally, the camera can extend up to 25,000 ISO, although as you can see here, our testing showed that the image begins to deteriorate past ISO 4000. The color science in the EVA1 is excellent and will be very familiar to those shooting in Vlog on the Vericam or GH5. Its robust 10-bit 422 internal recording holds up very well to color grading, and the promised all-intra codec makes these files great for post-production work. Here are a few examples of our graded footage. And here is the EVA1 side-by-side -side with the GH5. The small size of the EVA1 makes it perfect for gimbal use, as it can be broken down to a very compact form factor. Another cool feature of the EVA1 is the in-camera electronic image stabilization. Since the 5.7K sensor is larger than the 4K recording, the camera can crop in slightly on the sensor and use the extra sensor space to electronically stabilize your shots. The difference is clear. The camera does support autofocus, although it is not continuous and is not necessarily the most responsive. The camera also has extensive high-speed options, allowing you to record up to 60p in 4K, up to 120p in 2K, and up to 240p in 2K with a small sensor crop. These are some very advanced features for a camera of this size and price. After putting it through its paces, I gotta say, I really love working with this camera. When you think about what it can do, the high speed at 4K, even higher speed at 2K, dual native ISO, V-Log, the feature set is pretty hard to beat at this price point. This is an excellent entry for Panasonic that'll compete with Canon C200 and the Sony FS7. If you wanna learn more about this or anything else that we carry, check us out at borrowlenses.com and rent today.